reward from God. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome for the meditation of March the 16th, 2024, taken from Matthew chapter 6, verse 1, and following. Take heed that you do not do your charitable deeds before men, to be seen by them. Otherwise, you have no reward from your Father in heaven. Glory be to thee, O God, and glory be to thee. How pleasant, especially for vanity and pride, is what happens when you trumpet your charitable deeds. Used to be back when there were newspapers that when somebody was able to give a sizable amount of money, whether it be gifts for the orphan children or food for uh, the um, homeless, um, newspapers would immediately take photographs and say it. So and so just did this and that. And then the people would feel really proud of themselves. Oh, I am a philanthropist. I am good. But the Lord says, you have no reward in heaven. And then I have to ask, is truly a five-minute glory worthwhile? Wouldn't it be better to have a reward in heaven? What type of reward? Well, if you do it out of philanthropy for your own self-esteem, heaven is not open to you, unfortunately. But I was a good man. But you did it for yourself. But if you do it quietly, as the Lord says today, that nobody would know what you have done or as few as, can, as possible, then God will reward you. And what is his reward? The entrance to heaven. Only that. Wouldn't you pay even millions if you had to do so, to enter heaven, to save yourself from condemnation and hell? Of course you would. Then why would you let the devil take the reward away from you? As we ponder on the great land, God invites us to make him present in this earth by our charitable deeds, by our love towards each other, to find him, even the Christ, hidden in the least of our brothers, that we might enjoy those words in the end of our lives. Judgment time. Come, blessed of my Father. For blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.